I thought I'd do some clamp meter testing today. We're well, back in the workshop. Oh, rather cold today. Uh, what order will I go in? Order of purchase. So this is the first clamp meter I ever bought. It's a Uni T UT T01. A tile selector, voltage, AC, DC, ohms, continuity, diode test, and the current test 2 to 20 or 200 to 400 on the clamp. And the other is your connections for your test leads. Uh, the next one I bought is this Amical or Amical ST9810, and this is the one that does really low current testing, 200 milliamps and up to 200 amps. I should have also said this is one was about 20 pounds, this one was 70 pounds and this is supposed to be a really really good one, a really like an industry standard. I was using it for current leakage testing to see how bad my old wiring is. It's pretty bad. And this one, this was an interesting one. This was uh, 30 pounds and it Clamp meters AC and DC loads. So I give a gonna do a test to see how accurate the two cheap Unity ones are compared to the expensive Amical one is. And well here's my test setup. I have a lamp, good old incandescent lamp, and it is plugged in via these two bare wire bare wires here so we can get the clamp round. The live. So I will turn it on. The light, the light is on. We will set the Amical one to go for two arms. What does that get us? Uh, 179 milliamps. Okay, 179. Right. I will now test the original and cheap Amica, uh, not Amica, Unity, which is showing 0.54 amps in fresh air. Interesting. 17172? It's quite accurate. I consider it's 20 quid, it's pretty accurate. And the new one, which does all sorts of beeps, oh, it went down to zero. One six nine, point one six nine. You see that? I wonder if you can clamp them all together. Yeah, you can. One seven seven, one six nine. So. It's pretty accurate, I think. Well, as accurate as I'll ever need it to be. So, is the £70 one worth two or three times as much as the other one? I'm not entirely sure. Because literally all this will do is AC, uh, current. This one will do AC, DC, it's got connections at the bottom to put your probes in, so you can do voltage, ohms, it's even got those the beepy things that let you know when you're near a live wire. It's quite a good thing that. It lets you know how far away you are as well, it's got on the display. You can see it. It's pretty handy. And it's feel accurate by the looks of it. Alright, next up. A DC test. All right, here's our DC test bed setup. Power supply, a load which we'll be using a 12 volt bulb, two bits of wire, our DC mm, current clamp, and our voltmeter and ohmmeter that we're going to use. We're going to use maths to work out how accurate that is. So we'll turn this on, and we'll take a voltage reading. from our fairly accurate protester. All right. It 
13.61 volts. That's 13.61 volts. Okay, now we'll measure the resistance of the bulb. That comes in at 10, uh, 10 mega ohms, which is 10, 10, what the fuck is 10 mega ohms in ohms? I'm going to put that in as 10 mega ohms. And then, to Google! Let's put in all our details. Resistance, 10 mega ohms. Voltage, 13.61. And that should give us a current of 1.2. 361. Okay? 1.361. Let's see what the glamour says. So, for DC mode, you have to zero out in, in and around what you're working on as it picks up a lot of interference. But now if we put it around this, 1.86 as opposed to 1.86. Three six, so it's pretty close. It's not bang on accurate, but let's try it on the, on the other side, just in case. I'll try zero now again. See if it makes a difference. No, nope, still showing one one point eight. You see that down there? 1.8. So, it's not super accurate at this low current, but... It gives you a fair indication. You know what? Well, for 30 quid, yeah, yeah, I'd absolutely buy this.